This video is sponsored by Sunsama, the daily planner for busy professionals. Check the link in the description below to start your free trial today. Hey guys, it's Greg, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna give some key insights into how I learned data science faster than my peers. And so if you want to learn data science faster than your peers, I'd recommend watching the video. Now, something that I think a lot of students tend to lack is basic computer knowledge, both hardware and software. Now, of course, this comes with time, but also the hardware stuff, you probably won't learn it until you actually search it out. Like for example, how your RAM is different than an SSD and how an SSD is better than a hard drive, even though they both do pretty much the same thing. Another thing, like a CSV versus a JSON file, how that's different than just a text file, but how you can both actually write text into those files and access them via Python libraries or through Linux or through Windows. All of these things really add up to you just being faster at using your computer, understanding all of the different details so that you can do and tell the computer to do exactly what it is that you want. Now, this is a big reason why I highly recommend the IBM Data Science as a starting point because course two is all about teaching you the various tools and installing those and running those. Even if you're not gonna go into a deep dive into most of them, it still gets you used to those various software skills, which I think is really important. By the way, even though I'm suggesting the IBM as an introductory course, it doesn't mean that it doesn't go pretty far into the details. At the end, you actually start using scikit-learn to make machine learning models, which is a state-of-the-art thing to do. I did that all the time in my job. A wonderful platform I haven't talked about for a while is Kaggle, which is great for getting data sets to do machine learning, for following notebooks that people explain how to solve these problems, for submitting to competitions both fake and real. It's a great site, so check it out. What I highly recommend you do is get a data set from Kaggle, either use the Kaggle notebook or maybe Google Colab, your own Jupyter notebook, whatever you choose to train models, and just solve a problem over and over again in various ways. The amount of times that I have solved both the MNIST handwritten digits problem and the California housing data set, it, you would not believe it. But I have learned so, so much just from solving those two problems, because one is regression, the other is classification, solve those two problems using one do a random forest, then the other do a gradient boosting, and then try a naive Bayes or an SVM or a neural network, so many different neural networks, maybe uh, auto dimensionality reduction techniques like PCA or an autoencoder. There is so many different things that you can do to try and just make a model better. It doesn't even have to be better, just solve it and you do not have to understand all of the mathematics behind these things. You can just look up the documentation, go ahead and do it. Maybe understand in general what a machine learning model is and how you would make one of those first by following one of the Kaggle notebooks, but just grab a data set, start solving problems over and over again with different methods. You'll learn so much. On a related note, Graph as much as you possibly can to help explain to yourself and to others how you're solving these problems. So PCA and autoencoders allow for beautiful demonstrations visually, as well as just comparing parameters in a model. You can see how its accuracy changes when you maybe upgrade the amount of neighbors in a KNN model. There's so many things you can graph and visualize. I would recommend doing that. Now, moving away from data science in particular for a second here, I do want to explain some things that I always use just to learn faster than my peers in general, regardless of the subject. Now, maybe this will sound a bit obvious, but you really do just have to work harder. It's not necessarily just more hours. I mean harder and smarter. So you can spend four hours doing something where you're like half on LinkedIn and listening to music and not focusing, or maybe you're staring at a page of textbook and you don't know the math that you need to, so it's not making any sense, or you're kind of pissed off or upset and you're not learning properly. Anything where you're just not focusing on it and not learning it well, you need to go and do something that you can learn well. And trust me, there is a resource out for you at any time. Whatever your skill level is in all of these various subjects, you know, you're a 2 out of 10 in Python, but you're uh, an 8 out of 10 in visualization ideas, and you're amazing at statistics, but you don't understand calculus very well. All of these different combinations, there is a resource for you at any time that will make sense if you try hard enough, seriously. So don't spend too much time just 
doing something that's not helping, put your time into something that is helping you learn and you're gonna go so much faster than your peers. Seriously, your learning will go so, so much faster, I promise you, if you do it that way. Also, I am willing to bet that a lot of you just need a bit of extra motivation and I hope that I'm here to help support you in that. Seriously, I mean it, keep it up. You've got this, keep pushing, you're doing great. And I'll see you next time, guys. I hope this did help a bit. Drop a like if it did, and subscribe if you're a weirdo and aren't subscribed to the channel already. Bye.